2020 was the sixth straight year for land price growth, which according to ABARES data, is an increase of 41% nationally over the six year period. While land price growth has been sharp and strong, we expect prices are sustainable at these levels, with a downward correction very unlikely. In the short term, the fundamentals of the land market remain extremely strong. We've identified that there are three main drivers of land prices, being interest rates, productivity, and commodity prices. The explanatory power of these variables was the strongest for cropping lands. These three variables achieved an R squared with land prices over the last 30 years of R squared equals 0.87. The growth streak for cropping lands has been seven years, the longest streak of growth in the last 30 years. Over the past six years nationally, these fundamentals have been the most supportive than they have over the last 30 years. This strength is depicted by our traffic lights. The cost of funding remains at the lowest point on record. The Rabobank Commodity Price Index remains high and production levels in 2020 were well above average. Back to you, Claudine. It's actually really positive to note that land prices didn't decrease during the drought. Well, during the drought, we saw the number of properties on the market diminish significantly, but it's also important to note that farmers and investors take a long-term mindset when buying farms. Thanks, Wes.